continuing our example, here we have the matrix A squared minus D, which you can see is block diagonal. Now we can think of each of its blocks, A1 and A2, as adjacency matrices for two disconnected graphs or two disconnected subgraphs. Because A1 deals only with words, we consider its associated graph uh, the word graph or term graph. And because A2 only deals with sentences, uh, we consider its associated graph to be the sentence graph or document graph. And now I'll draw the edges in each of these graphs. All right, so starting with uh, row one of A1, we have, let's see, an edge between W1 and W2, W3, W4, W5, and W6. And in a, in a uh, real application, we might actually put in the, the uh, weight, right? So you could put in a 2, a 1, a 1, a 1, and a 1 to indicate the weight. And a clustering algorithm will take that weight into account um, when clustering these things together. But when you do the worksheet, you don't really need to Put in the weights if you want to you certainly can um, but you don't have to all right let's see that was w2 through 6 2 3 4 5 6 yes there we go okay w2 goes to w1 we have that already w2 w3 2 3 2 4 2 5 2, 6, and 2, 7. We got uh, 3, 1, 3, 2, let's see, 3, 4, 3, 4, and that is it. 3, 1, and 3, 2 we already have, okay. Uh, 4, we've already got all of those. 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, mm -hmm. and a 5, let's see, we've got five. the new ones would be 5, 6, uh, we've got 5, 6, 5, 7, and 5, 8, 5, 6, 5, 7, and 5, 8, we've got 7, uh, no new ones with seven. Seven was only connected to, um, oh, I guess we do have a new one with seven, right? Seven and eight, that's right. Okay, there we go. Let's see, we had seven, two, that was there. Seven, five, that was there. And seven, eight, there. And we have eight. 8.5, which we already have, and 8.7. All right, now already you can kind of see that uh, some, some, you know, if you think of like, there's pieces that, that are kind of separated out. And if you go back and look at the original sentences, you'll see that uh, the that we have, I mean, it's hard, you know, it, these things aren't entirely exact, they aren't perfect. Um, they're just models and they're not going to get things perfect. But you can see that W, let's see, it looks like, you know, it looks like because, of, and if you think of weights and stuff, let's see, five with two had a two in it. Right. 
Um, so maybe, you know, something like this would be together and something like this would be together. And that may not be exactly how the uh, clustering algorithm would, uh, would separate them out. You really don't know until, uh, until you, and different ones will, do, will be better for your application. But in any case, you can see how this, this goes. Now let's go with the, uh, let's see, S1 is with uh, S2 and S3. See, S2 is with S2 is with uh, three and four, three and four. S3 is with S4, and S4 is with two and three. S4 is with two and three. Okay. All right. You can see it. So you can see it's not perfect, but. If you think about uh, S1 and S2 had were had st had stuff very in common, right? And you can and S3 had stuff similar to some of those, but not entirely. But S4 had I believe so. If you look back at the at the original sentences, I think S4 had very little in common with uh, with S1 and S2. And so you could see here, right? Our S1 and S2 are really clumped together especially if you think of weights and all that. Now, when you go to do your, when you go to do the worksheet, this is all I want. Okay, you don't need to do weights and you don't need to circle things to, to tell which stuff is more, would be clustered together or anything like that. That's, that's uh, way, uh, you don't need to do that. Just do that. Just do what I have here. 